All right, so we're kicking off this vlog with a tour of a distillery. We decided to go to Clark's Court. I wanted to see firsthand how it is rum made. I wanted to see the process and what goes into it and how they extract the sugar cane and they turn it into rum. I wanted to see that whole entire process. Now, I can't remember exactly how much it ended up costing. I believe it was $5 per person, so it ended up being $10 for my mom and I. Now, something that is really fascinating is most distilleries or most tastings that you go on you only get to taste two or three different types of beverage that they have this you got to taste the range that Clark's Court has now look at the range that they have Now we are going to take a moment to admire this view. This is Concord Falls. These falls are beautiful. Unfortunately, I did not go into the water and I was warned not to go in too deep if I did choose to go in. Now can we take a moment to look at these lovely little monkeys? Aren't they adorable? Unfortunately, they are caged, but they're still hustling and bustling. This is Leper's Hill and this is the Leper's Hill Monument. So Leper's Hill is historical because this is where the Caribs jumped to their death to avoid being captured unwillingly when the French came over from Martinique. After our visit at Leper's Hill, we went to La Vera Beach because we had planned a cook-up. So at the beach, we decided that we were going to make oil down. I will show a picture after because I didn't film that part. So I will insert a snapshot of the oil down. And then after that, we just took a walk on the beach. I had brought my swimsuit this day and I had wanted to go in the water. But as you can see, the water was super rough that day and I wasn't going swimming in that. If you watched part one of my vlog, then you know where I am. But if you didn't watch part one, I am in Grand Dance again, going to the beach. I think I lived on the beach on my vacation. Honestly, we do not have beaches like this where I am from. So I took full advantage of soaking up the rays and soaking up the water. I love the water. And of course, I stopped off at Umbrellas again because the food was so good the first time. But I will warn you, I'm a creature of habit, so I did get the same exact order. I got the jerk chicken, but this time I got it with some plantain and some zucchini. The only thing I will say is they lack consistency. This time, my chicken was not spicy at all, but it was still good. 
So we stopped off at Grande Tang. This is just a souvenir shop that we stopped off at. I did end up purchasing some spices for some people back home. But the reason that we came to Grande Tang is because this is a tourist destination where you can go up into the mountains and you can see the monkeys. Unfortunately for me, the weather was not on my side. It was raining and apparently the monkeys hide, but it was nice to see the agriculture. Next up was to visit Belmont Estate to see the plantation, to see the cocoa bean and see how it's harvested and used for a variety of different cocoa products. This by far was such an educational experience and I highly recommend it. If you are visiting and you're a tourist, I recommend going to see it because you get to see how the cocoa bean is transformed into a variety of different products. You also get to see the equipment that they used back in the day and you get to learn about the roots of the plantation and it was a good experience you'll see the equipment you will also see the books that they had which would show the people who did work on the plantations it was ridiculous to see how little they were paid on these plantations then a little bit later you will see the chocolate factory itself i can attest that big chocolate here is superb i ended up purchasing i think two or three bars to come home with but i will let you see the whole of Belmont for yourself. Thanks so much for tuning in to my Grenada vlog part two. Be sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on part three. See you next time.